Hello. As a celebration of getting 86, 86 subscribers, I thought I'd do another quick video. This time I'm going to have a look at the panniers that come with the V85 TT Travel. Today I'm in the fat cave, so there shouldn't be any noisy sheep. Maybe the odd angry sparrow trying to get in, but should be okay. So these are what I think is called the urban cases. And they cost around £900 in the UK when I had a quick look earlier. Now to me, that's a hell of a lot of money. But I think this is a fairly typical price for OEM luggage for a lot of manufacturers. They're pretty solidly built. They're quite heavy. They weigh just under five kilograms each. I don't know what that is in freedom units. And the actual carrying capacity is only about five kilos as well. I don't know anyone that's ever paid attention to that with motorbike luggage, but I guess the manufacturers have to fit, say that for a reason. The stated capacity of each pannier is 37 litres for the right-hand side and 27 for the left-hand side. Obviously, the exhaust cutout takes up a lot of space in that pannier. Apparently, they're made of some kind of nylon. I'm not AVE. So I'm not going to take a Stanley knife or a soldering iron to it to find out how much glass there is in it. I'll put the code up on the screen for anyone that cares. So there are two locks on these panniers, both keyed to the bike ignition key on the travel model. The one on what you would call the front is what locks it to the bike. And then there's one on top and the rubber cover which actually locks and unlocks the pannier. Why that one has a rubber cover and the other one doesn't, I have no idea. It can be a bit of a pain to remove. This could be because it's all new and still bedding in. Basically, I have to find the sweet spot and then they'll come off. When you're putting them back on, you've got to seat the case on a little fitting there and try and line up the hooks get them in and then kind of just with a bit of persuasion you'll be able to find the locking point i'm sure they'll uh, free up with use when it comes to opening and closing the case i can only assume all other designs of pannier had been patented because I can't think of any other reason Motokutsi would make them like this, but this is how they are. Opening is a little bit of a faff, especially with one hand. You've got two catches, one on each side and the lock. And they're not related to each other, so you can open the catches. And the case is still locked. It's only when you undo that lock that it comes free. It's a bit awkward to do with one hand. You also can't remove the key while it's in the unlocked position, which could be a bit annoying if you're staying somewhere and trying to unload the panniers. So you have to lock it each time you want to take the key out. It's a little bit fiddly. Obviously, you'll get used to it. The right-hand side pannier is big enough for a full-face helmet. The left-hand side is a lot smaller due to the exhaust cutout. There's still enough room inside, perhaps for a, a selection of comestibles to keep you going on your trip. In fact, there's still a reasonable amount of room left over in there, I think. A few of Tracy's cupcakes would fit just perfect, once they've cooled down, of course. So, in summary then, these are a pretty good set of panniers. I can see why people fit those massive aluminium Ewan and Charlie boxes to their bikes. I'm not a fan, I don't like the look of them, but there's no denying they have a vast amount of storage, much more practical. These are more than good enough for me. I don't tour regularly, but for the odd weekend away, these are absolutely fine. I wish they did some inner bags shaped to the size of the pannier to make packing easier, that would be nice. And they could do with some elastic straps. 
built into the lid and perhaps the body like you get on some Jivy cases and other manufacturers. But I guess for 900 quid a pair, you can't really expect very much. Well, that's all I've got to say on these. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye. God, dear, now everything smells of eggs. <laughs>